Hey guys, me Adam Man here. Today we're over at my buddy Brian's place, Trigger Auto Painting. He does a lot of really good paintwork and custom builds, just like this 1970 Opal GT with a 2000 Mazda Miata powertrain in it. He's managed to shoehorn that thing in there beautifully. Now, he's also got upgraded headlights in this. Those are the seven inch round LEDs. The battery, as you guys can tell, is in the front. And uh, he's done some great paint on this already. And it's a work in progress, but we're out here looking at some other parts that he didn't need. And uh, I sold him some parts for this one to help him with the build. As the, uh, we got the hood over here. And let's have a closer look around this thing and just see what stage it's at. It's got a very funky shifter. We had to put the shifter like that to be able to clear the e-brake cable. Ah, right. So yeah, some custom stuff there. Make it all fit. Otherwise that e-brake is going to get in the way. We've got uh, electrical in various states of progress i'll call it so i can describe what's going on from here because we've got yeah, uh absolutely like even some other things that i didn't explain to you like uh we've got our interior guys going to do a really crazy custom interior coming on this like really really high-end interior and uh the dashboard i've got to finish and build and it's getting all custom gauges and uh we're really like only probably halfway on this car but uh yeah, all these Miata parts and stuff I got off Peter for the guys on my channel who don't know. That's the Miata man, Peter. So he's really good to work with and uh, really reasonable parts. And uh, if you need anything Miata like that, and Miata is a pretty popular drivetrain, right? Like uh, he's got his friend who's here with us too. And they've put a Miata motor in uh, 61 MGA, which uh, I'll show you guys in my shop. I've got one I'm working on just coincidentally, you know, it's... Uh, small world and uh we're all doing cool stuff so yeah this car is uh it's really crazy loud actually i should start it with you guys and uh this car came with 60 horsepower stock now we figure it's close to 200 and there's all the miata stuff stuffed in the back there gas tank and all the emissions and uh everything so there it is yeah yeah the 1.8 liter miata gas tank fuel sending unit even got the original fuel cap over here yeah now that transfer that from the original opal it comes here and we moved it over there and uh there's opal exhaust on it hey jesse why don't you come over here and record for me i can uh, start this car up there's the backup cameraman he's, he's coming in to help upcoming youtuber he's he's all into it <laughs> So here, just careful about not pushing stop or anything. Hold this, I'll start this car up. Watch your fingers below. You guys are gonna love how this sounds. Yeah, it's this awesome. Car is really, really loud. I was yeah. thinking the guy was gonna say it was too loud. He goes, No, I love it. <laughs> I was like, Oh, perfect. <laughs> sounded pretty awesome yeah it's pretty good so you can hear these motors make a lot of power they're light and they're reliable and uh, good yeah. on fuel all the, all the rest of it so yeah. there's the clutch, clutch slave cylinder like or I clutch said. master cylinder i should say right there clutch slaves buried under there somewhere so you know, definitely if you're doing this you want to be putting a new one on just so you don't have to go in there and change it later yeah we've got ourselves a honda radiator in here out of a Civic. Yeah, and that's a big fan. That's an 1850 CFM fan. And uh, and uh, yeah, this header, I had to cut this header up to make it fit and all that. And, but as you can hear, the end result, she sounded pretty, pretty good. Yeah, there's the header that's been modified. And this car drives now, so we've been testing it out around the yard and it just wants to spin the tires. So it's gonna be pretty fun when we get to 
get this interior finished up and try it out. Awesome. Now we got we got the radi or the radiator, and then we've got the battery sitting right here. A custom tray. That's there because the the owner of this car didn't really want to have it in the back, right next to the gas tank, and I can understand that. So. I'm going to even build a firewall in here. The opal comes with just a piece of wood in there. And I'm going to actually put a piece of metal in there. So that's how even worried about things he is, right? Mm -hmm. And I can understand that too. So, yep. yeah. But, uh, yeah, we got a few other things to show. So we don't want to make it too, too long of a video. So you want to go check out the shop inside there? Yeah, let's take a walk. Let's go check out the rest of the operation. We just got a little small shop here. Here's actually my ATV, my little car mover. It's a butt saver, actually. It's got a winch on there and uh, that's why I got my tires so I can push cars around and not down. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yeah. All right, wait till you guys see what's coming up next. We got a, ourselves a nice MGA being worked on in the shop. Yeah, and uh, there's my trailer. I'm sure you guys have worked on my trailer. I'm sure you can see the ramp build on that guy. Yeah. It's a gorgeous day out here in Langley. I've got another field on here that uh, you guys haven't seen yet, so I want to go turn the phone on. So here's the car I'm working on right now. It's a 61 MGA. And uh, for an older uh, fellow, a veteran, he's uh, eight years old. He's going to turn that off here to love. This car has some big, big mistakes on it. Uh, I had to cut pieces off. There's a lot of metal work already done. I had to cut pieces off and make the door gaps fit. Even Peter's friend here, he's got an MGA, and he said, oh, we got some gaps that are a bit out. Very hard to do the gaps on these cars. Not only you got all these gaps, but the inner and outward gap, like your friend was saying, can stick out, right? Oh yeah. It's, uh, it's like really, really tricky, these uh, British cars, right? Yeah, yeah. Brian's done a great job of getting these to line up nicely. Yeah, we had to go and cut stuff out yeah. and uh, yeah. Just take now we're in the process block of this smoothing out and hiding our work and we got it lining up pretty good. The fellow came in and he was pretty happy that uh, he said, oh, I can see it's in the good hands here, so yeah. You know what this car needs though? What's that? Me out of powertrain. Yeah, yeah, his friends has got a me out of powertrain. I, I agree. This looks pretty nice like, though, but. Well, you start this up and I'll tell you what, it don't start like that and it, it don't sound like that. And for something that had a lot of mechanical work, it sounds like it barely wants to run, but ain't that typical British? Yep. All right, so, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nice to see this when it's all done. Yeah, can't wait. And uh, we got the car sitting on the lift. This I, I specifically chose this lift because it's really heavy duty and it can even act like a frame machine. You know, I can put hooks on it and do poles and stuff. And just super heavy duty. This lift uh, can lift my truck. Wow. Around. Yeah. Right up, you can walk right up. You couldn't even touch the bottom of the truck. That's how high this can go. Unreal. In the truck. Yeah. Wow. So it's great. That's crazy. What yeah. kind of lift is it? It's, uh, oh, I can't remember the name. Uh, it's an older one, but uh, you know, it's a four pole, so it's uh, heavy duty, right? Mm -hmm. So, and it's super heavy duty. The ramps are adjustable, and uh, the jacks on there, the, it's got air jacks. Yeah. They're 6,000 pounds each capacity. Wow. And the ramp, the lift is a 12,000 pound capacity. Yeah. So, unreal. That's what you need to lift a diesel truck like that. Yep. Oh, yeah, there's that, and we turned it into a drive through as well. I've got these ramps that I welded pieces on. And they just sit on there so we can drive through. Oh, okay, or, yeah. Space is at a premium here, as you can tell. Yeah, it's pretty So here. there's no going around the lift. So with those ramps, it enables you to yeah. keep on trucking into the back 40 where the paint booth is here. Yeah, we got the paint booth here. And I can show you guys that are regulars on my channel an update that on the Mustang here. We're almost done this car. That's Big Al. He's, uh, he's uh, the master behind this uh, car here. This car, oh man, came in for body and paint. It was really bad, they always are. And uh, we got the body and paint looking pretty good on it. And 
Then the guy just uh, just wanted all the nice crazy stuff, so we accommodated like this billet steering wheel and chrome uh, flaming river column, chrome B and M shifter, painted up interior, got uh, painted up custom door panels, new door panels. Our interior guy again, he came in and did some embroidering. Some Mustangs back there. Now my guy's on the stereo. We did wiring bumper to bumper. He's got a big stereo he's putting in here. He's got her closed, but his, he's got a pretty decent amp and sub in there. And uh, I went and got some crazy Shelby bills on here. So, and then I did the exhaust on here. And, uh, oh, I ended up. Uh, Killing my feet there, by so let me uh, restart that real quick. Yeah, so uh, I just lost my connection, but I restarted here. So um, I think I should start this up. We did the exhaust on this car, and uh, the headers were crushed. It was leaking from every angle. Uh, it was spitting oil out the tailpipes because it was only running on like six cylinders. And uh, it just sounded nasty all the way around. Like just sounded like a beat up old Pinto or something. It didn't sound like a Mustang with a V8, you know? So I should start this up and let you see what, what we came up with. Yeah, let's do it. The guy listened, I was like, you need new headers. Uh, you need all your new gaskets and we'll put some Flowmaster 40s on and this car will sound like it's supposed to sound. Right on. So, hey uh, Al, can I start this car up? Yeah, I'll show you guys some other stuff we put on. I put on the rear wing, it never came on that car. And the uh, front spoiler, it's really aggressive and nice looking factory style spoiler. And uh, the uh, engine, we've got this engine all tidied up and running nice. Uh, it's done an amazing job with the wiring. And we put a strut bar in there, we put brakes bumper to bumper with rear disc brake conversion. And Drill it's, brakes it's and an export brakes. And yeah, there's all kinds of stuff going on here. Blue, I did it with the stripes, black stripes of the Mustang owner silver. So I can start her up? Yeah. If you want to carefully take this and go to the back and film it and not push buttons. Probably go from the back there, Peter. Get the All pipe, right. Pipe side. You bet. I'll uh, I'll take a little walk back there in a sec. This car sounds better than the uh, Opal. You think? Sounds awesome. Yeah. Really oh, nice. Me too there, you guys. I'm pretty dirty. been doing body work all day, so. Yeah. Me and Peter have been planning this collaboration bit for a while, and uh, we already showed up, and uh, I get dirty every day, so I guess it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Thanks yeah. for the tour, Brian. Yeah, for sure, man. That's yeah. awesome. Yeah, so Peter's channel, uh, Miata Man, and uh, channels trigger auto painting so uh like and subscribe and uh peace out boys we'll keep the cool ones coming right on thanks very much for watching guys uh stay tuned for more videos like this i'm going to try and go out on a few more field trips in the future here and we'll give you some hopefully give you some status updates on what we've seen today and whatever else interesting we find on our travels uh, as well as all the miata stuff that i usually put up for you so like subscribe and if you have any questions or comments please throw them in there I'll do my best to respond. Thanks guys.